my liberty. The one on Tinder shows I'm here in front wrestling the superstars. You see on the shirt, Kiara helping the girl on fire. How are you doing? Oh, uh, very well. I just had a match with Joey Ryan, so I'm doing very well. I was a team with Joey Ryan for the first time. Booty call, one of the best tag team names ever. Well, actually, you know what? This is our third time tag team. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. team booty call. So this is like nostalgic for us to kind of be able to tag again. I wasn't wrestling until I would do more than get the Game Rising Star to Eli Oh, so much fun. That's my first time working with Delilah and Eli, so it was fun. I think the crowd was into it. It was fast paced. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. And your last time here, you were for ADVS. Talk about that experience, too. Oh, I wrestled Vipers. Saw the video. The Eddie Guerrero. The Eddie Guerrero stunt, yeah. It was diabolical. We need official. I deserve a rematch. We need a commission. Something, Bart. Come on, I need a rematch for that because that well, was ridiculous. You've been, been so a couple times. How do you like the fans and stuff here? Oh, I love California. I want to move here so bad because I just feel like the energy is so much better on the West Coast. Nice. And you've been to Bart. You've been with Barson twice. Team Priscilla Kelly and Team with Joey Ryan. Like, what's your team? Team with Priscilla Kelly and Joey Ryan. That's a weird partners. <laughs> <laughs> There's a big difference between Priscilla and Joey, <laughs> but I think they're both on the same like wavelength. If you I mean, I think they're on the same wave. Like, I think Priscilla is very, like, uh, out of the box. People don't really expect. She's very unpredictable, and so is Joey. But I think the two of them together, because I've actually been in the ring with all three of them at the same time, that's a show you have to see. <laughs> Let's play Get No Care. How long have you been wrestling for? Uh, three years. Just three years. Nice. So you came out at what, uh, what school? Um, WWA4 under Mr. Keith. And I saw Air Fox Academy too. Oh yeah, he's uh, well, he's head trainer now. I actually don't work uh, at A4 anymore. Oh yeah, I know what you're yeah. training there. Yeah, but they, I did train a little bit under. Yeah, Bart, we were talking we're about you. We're me listening. and Vipers. What's, what's, yeah, yeah, what's, what's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Me and Vipers. We need a rematch. Okay. Come on. We need a rematch and a debut. What's up with that? Exactly. Oh. Oh. Hello, welcome to the show. I was trying to find you, but you're on the show. Here you I am. I you, found you. You found me. I found so tell you. us about your goal wrestling day. Yeah, I didn't ever see Oh, we're sponsored by Real Kind of Sponsor. I don't know. I don't know. But, hey, hey, we don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, what, what, tell us, Varus, and you, Nicole Savoy. Man, you know, Nicole Savoy, she gets hard as shit. Uh, she threw me around like I was a child, but I think I held my own. I held my own. And, uh, you know, I definitely uh, show her what I can do. Two times in SoCal, Tessa Blanchard and Savoy. That's the best here in SoCal. How do you like both performances? Oh, I love them both. Um, I always love when an opponent can bring their best and bring the best out of each. And, uh, you know, they, they hit hard and they can back it up, so. And how about the crowd reaction from uh, PCW to it to uh, bar wrestling? Um, I think just the Los Angeles area, uh, they really appreciate it. Uh, uh, wrestling, so I think both crowds are just on fire. They're just really good. Yeah. They're what now? Did you just say on fire? On fire? Oh my god. Like yeah. the girl on fire. And you're talking about, like, if, how is Impact Wrestling how your career, man? Like, you've been. Oh man. Um, you've been, like, big angles. I'll leave yeah. my question. Yeah, yeah. Like, I know, I know. We don't want to, like, like, yeah. Oh my god. Um, working with Impact has been awesome. Um, the division is growing nice. tremendously. I feel like our division is very diverse right now. Yeah. Um, especially with a lot of top indie talent coming in. Jordan Grace just signed with Impact. Oh, that was taught me. I'm a big Jordan Grace fan. Like, oh, you. Yeah. I, like, I was talking to my sister, like, every, like Division, like, how strong has been, like, Tessa is, like, the girl right now. Oh, my I mean, God. you're anchor, you're knockout like champion. I think we have the top division right now. Uh, I, I, I think it if might be. If we're going to put I'm, it out there, I think that we have the top division. Like, like, top like, 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 you've been partners with Allie. Like, how underrated is Allie? She's been on the show. Like, oh people underestimate Allie. Someone tell us about Allie. So much. I feel like Allie has just been so strong since the day she first started at Impact. And I feel like now it's finally starting to show. People are finally starting to see how strong she truly is, especially as a wrestler and fighting for her and Rosemary and me and Madison. I yeah. just feel like Allie is so strong. Tell me about the Undead Realm stuff, because that stuff was crazy. Oh my gosh, Sue put me in a coffin. <sighs> that must then, be so scary. Yes, and then I ended up in the Undead Realm, and I don't know how or why or how it happened. I didn't even know Sue had powers to take me to the Undead Realm. It's wrestling, anything. Anything can anything happen. Anything can happen. In, in Impact. Especially in Impact. Impact, crazy things happen. People have been murdered. People have been oh, 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 oh. Yeah. But I mean, I think, like I said, Allie's so <laughs> strong. Sure, you might want to move. Oh, yeah, yeah. I almost went to the store. It's heavy. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's uh, plug your. Let's, we've been dangerous over here, so let's plug your merch name. <laughs> and when you're coming back to SoCal, I never miss Uh I will actually be back in California at the end of October, which you'll have to see for an announcement. It's actually.
play very big of it. Nice. I'm really excited for it. It's a part of WOW. Oh yeah, uh, tell us about the WOW team. Oh my that. God. I was WOW teams. I didn't get to attend, but I was Atmosphere at Access TV. What January like? January 9th. 9th. So okay. Every Friday it'll be a new episode. Nice. Um. So I am fire at WOW. Uh, um, like it's obviously. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> um. No, WOW was awesome. Like. I know we're called WOW Superheroes and seriously like when I put that outfit on and I went out into that crowd like WOW was it literally made me feel like I was like unstoppable that. and I was a superhero that crowd was awesome. Nice. Yes. And now like that's like oh and WOW how is it now to be like in poems like inspired girls like going up now like you were watching the girls girl yeah. up now you were on TV like now you're on TV like twice a week. Oh my god I can't even <laughs> believe like people tell me like I inspired them and like I've only ever wanted to tell my story about following your dreams and you know inspiring to inspire. Oh, nice. I just want to be able to inspire other people to follow their dreams just like I do. That's why I have my show to, uh, a platform to get people to speak and like promote wrestling and when I see young talented stars like have them on a show showcase them like they're yeah. awesome in the ring and your charisma and fire. So uh, plug your Twitter, your merch and everything. Well, I have a store on Pro Wrestling Tees. I will have some new merch coming out very soon. Um, I'm on Instagram as Hogan Knows Best 18. I'm also on Twitter at Hogan Knows Best 3. And Facebook, I have a fan page just here. Pleasure to be on the show. Thank, Thank you for having me. Thank, Thank you. you. Check her out. Uh, Sean Two Cents, BrookeMS4.com, and have a great day.